Hey folks, Ron here. Thanks for watching another edition of Infamous LA. Infamous and Famous, that is. Anyway, today, I kind of see the house behind me, but we're going to go back to it. It's really shaded there. Very exciting for me. I'm in front of the home where Don Henley and Glenn Fry of the Eagles wrote the song Desperado, among other things. Now, Henley and Fry, as we know, had gotten together in 1971. Uh, Don Henley had moved out from Texas with his group, which was eventually named Shiloh, and they were gigging around L.A. In fact, that they were um, managed uh, by Kenny Rogers' wife. Excuse that little block there. I actually knew her personally. I knew her son, Kenny Rogers Jr. Actually, Kenny Rogers Jr. and I were very good friends, uh, ninth grade. But that's another story because we lived right across from each other. But um, Don Henley was with Shiloh. Glenn Fry was with a two-man band called Long Branch Penny Whistle, and that was with J.D. Souther, who we met out here in L.A. And uh, the two of them met because they were playing behind. They had a gig to play Belinda Ronstadt's band uh, at the Troubadour, they met. And then Glenn Fry wanted to form a band with Henley, and they decided to recruit Bernie Ledden, who had also played with them with Linda Ronsett, and Randy Miser, who had also played with them. He was the bass player. Uh, Bernie would play guitar, and the other guitarist, Randy playing bass, Bernie guitar, Glenn playing guitar, and then the drummer would be... Sorry, they were getting a little close to us. The drummer, of course, was Don Henley. So that formed the Eagles. Let's go this way. In fact, let's go back this way. Um, I'm talking to the dog, if you were wondering. So, at various times, and by this time, by the time they were rooming together here, they had already achieved some degree of success. And the Eagles' first album, recorded in England in 1971, or early 72, produced by Glenn Johns, spawned three hit singles right away. It was instant fame, Witchy Woman, Peaceful Easy Feeling, and take it easy. So at various times after that, Gwen and Don would be roommates. And there were many times when they weren't speaking to each other, couldn't stand each other, couldn't be on, didn't want to be on stage or writing songs or trying to write songs together. But at this period, they were writing together and living together. And actually, I think, I believe, what's a peacefully easy feeling? No, that was written with, that was actually written mostly by Gwen's friend. Jack Temption. But Tequila Sunrise apparently is the first song that Glenn Fry and Don Henley actually sat down and wrote together. Now the next one, or one of the ones, huge hit, one of my all-time favorite songs, the song Desperado. And Desperado was a song um, that was inspired, that started as a Don Henley song about his friend Leo. Oh, Leo, why don't you come to your senses? Because Leo was in love with the wrong girl, or in lust, or obsessed with the wrong girl. We all know that feeling, don't we? We've all been there. Anyway, let's look at the house. Somebody coming, so let's stay here. So here's the house. Oh, we're still in the sun. Let's try to get out of the sun. Here's the home behind me, where they are rooming for a while. I'm going to get to the other side of it, too, in a minute. Lots of traffic up here. So they were rooming here. And pianos and guitars. And it's where, you know, like I say, uh, a lot of writing was going on. Oh, this person's really checking me out. Yeah, you can just be driving by. But people are, I don't want to use the term nosy, but some people are really nosy. So here it is. backyard there and some of the jamming sessions that took place here produced some of the, you know, the greatest songs ever written like Desperado which was named uh, the Desperado album was named for it. That was the Eagles second album Desperado and Glenn really wanted to convey to the world that they weren't a one hit wonder one album wonder that they weren't a novelty they were a serious band to be taken seriously there's more of the house so they conceived the desperado album um ned doheny friend of jackson brown's 
I believe I've got the story right, had given Jackson Brown um, a story for his birthday, a book about Old West Desperados. And the guys really loved it, and Glenn saw it as an analogy to the Eagles, sort of desperados, meaning that they were outside the norm of the record business, that they were kind of outlaws. And they took that theme and wrote several songs for the second album, the Desperado album, about outlaws, about desperados. And if you listen to that album, that's kind of the running theme. So it's a kind of a loose concept album. In fact, the record executive said, oh my God, they just had a huge hit opening record. Now they've written a cowboy record. Are they insane? <laughs> but they did it anyway. And it was considered kind of a commercial disappointment, uh, even though it had Desperado on it, like I said, and uh, Tequila Sunrise. I believe it was on Tequila Sunrise was on Desperado. Uh, and all the Eagles songs were beautiful, including the songs by Randy and Bernie those first years. I know they didn't stay with the band and... That's another long discussion we could have as to why those two guys quit the band. But um, Bernie at least played with them on their Hell Freezes Over album. And Randy's gone through some tough times, but we hope he's doing okay. So a last look at the house here. Let's go around the side and look at it there too. As you can tell, I'm a huge Eagles fan. And uh, what does it say here? No junk mail, no free newspapers, no takeaway. Wow, they're, they're pretty clear on what they don't want left there. By the way, we're right off of Laurel Canyon. We're right across from the Laurel Canyon Country Store. And at the bottom of the hill, which is kind of the nexus for everything hip and happening in the rock and roll world in the 60s and 70s and Laurel Canyon. And uh, the Love Street house of Jim Morrison and his girlfriend, Pamela, her son were, was right there. And we're gonna check that out too. Nice insignia on the door there, huh? Okay, folks, well, that's my little bit of Eagles um, trivia and history and the song where Desperado was written. My name is Ron. If you like my channel, bad hair day. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Therefore, you'll be indicated as to when I post. And also, please give me likes. That's what really drives the channel. I would really appreciate it. So, we will be seeing you at the next location. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.